Thanks for tuning in. This is the summer ends with a bang event review by YY. Sparky is the normal fantasy archive in this event. Her skill is turn skip AOE after an attack with a skill chance of 30%. Her skill shouldn't attract any star from Anicious, just like Empress Cleopatra. Her skill can't be nullified. This can be an advantage starting from the second turn in PvP or in Elemental Hall. Because the neutral of the enemy can be in ready state only after the first turn of attacker. Her disadvantage is that each turn players can only use one card to do a normal attack. So more than one or two skill AOE cards in a team don't help increase the effective AOE chance. For me, I just want to get one perfect amalgamation version of Sparky for my collection purpose. As we can see, for getting enough copies of Roro and Ruru, we must do the event box among. Only the ace of Super Fantasy Arcwitch, Niagara, can guarantee three event box among tickets. For the other fantasy or normal Arcwitches, we just maybe get a ticket from each participation. The second reward for defeating fantasy or normal Arcwitches is the Arcwitch Core. Although there are 120 tickets in the event map, it's not easy to accumulate the event box amount tickets from fantasy or normal creatures. We can see there are 105 cards shown in the summon screen. I'm not happy about the missing information of the other 195 cards in the box. In the summon lineup, we can see more than 300 possibilities in one box. I just hope the time I got enough Roro as the rare cards in the box, I could already have enough Ruru. Well, could my net make some better names for them? I don't think them Japanese names, so I pronounce them in English. If a player doesn't care about the soldier count value for the Sparky, then 600 event box summon tickets can secure two UR copies of Sparky. And personally, I recommend if you get all valuable cards in the box just by a few tries, don't forget to reset the box. Just normally this needs much luck to happen. By the way, I just want to complain that the difficulty to get a HUR Empress Cleopatra is much higher than a HUR Sparky and their skill difference isn't so huge. Anyway, Empress Cleopatra can resist one more time of ADK 80% down than Sparky. This can be different in PvP. By the way, the amalgamation item only requires top 5000, which is very good to us. I just hope the card itself won't be too hard to get. Niagara is the super fantasy Aquich in this event. After the release of Halloween Hardis and Gilgamesh, after nearly one year, we can welcome a new free 10 hit damage card, although as a ranking reward. Her second skill is very interesting. I want to know if I use some other cards to make her in buster mode, whether her second skill can be activated. For example, by using Fujisan. And does she maintain the buster mode for the whole team or for herself? From the card's description, we don't know. And uh, Niagara has the lowest difficulty to defeat as a level 500 fantasy Arcwitch. As far as I see, still I haven't met Arcwitch Field or Arcwitch Hammer. The team in this video is just a test team. No need to use upper against Niagara. Just the green dots of servants is quite annoying. If a player can finish Niagara by an extra 10 million overkill, it's fine. Shooting Niagara with two shots to get more overkills needs much luck. The score for defeating our creatures is recovered to a normal level. Ranking number one will tell us whether my net upgraded the score limit. Hawkeye returns as the ancient fantasy Arcwitch. Also, it's after nearly one year that players can collect a full neuter. After some time, after the population of auto skill AOE cards, full neuters may become less and less important for PvP, in my opinion. Anyway, for players who want to get full neuters, this event is a chance. 
By the way, it's difficult to collect Arcuage cores and event tickets simultaneously. Because if a player always grabs aces from Niagara by assisting, he will get less cores. If a player only finds fantasy or normal Arcuages by himself, it will be rare to encounter Niagara. For me, I think I will try getting tickets with priority, because Arcuage cores are not event dependent. So far, I only got about 40 tickets from Arcuages. And for players who want to get Nagatsuki, we still have this event. That's all for this video. Good luck for you in the new event. Thanks for watching. Thank you for your comments. Have a nice weekend. See you soon.